I work 100% uh, in addiction recovery these days. My background's in clinical psychology. I practiced for a few decades and uh, I, I got addicted in midlife. I lost my license as a psychologist. I was a tenured professor and I lost that. It's hard to do that. I found a way to do that uh, in active addiction and spent the last 10 years first of all getting into recovery. And then my work uh, has just naturally gravitated towards what I'm doing right now. And that's all I do. And I love what I do. I, I, uh, I lead uh, 13 groups a week uh, locally, I'm down in Orange County, um, at eight different treatment centers, which is ridiculous. And uh, also, uh, Colleen, my wife is a therapist. She and I share an office in Irvine. And I see about 10 clients a week uh, uh, in, in my office. It's not accurate. I actually see clients locally, but also do a lot of work online with clients. It's one of the crazy things, not being licensed, I can see clients all over the world. Colleen can't see clients that moved to Nevada. So I actually have more freedom, it pisses her off. Uh, but uh, so I that's what I do and uh, I, I you know it's crazy because I, I get to do what I love I get to do what I love which is I've always loved psychology um, and uh, the addiction thing is real front and center for me come from a family with a lot of addiction you know I've talked about this before and uh, I think why I, why I waited till midlife to get addicted is there was so much addiction in my family and I stayed away from it and as soon as I kind of went towards that and starting with alcohol, I went down a rabbit hole that was epic. And uh, that's uh, been a painful thing to realize, but I, I care a lot about it. And, and there's, there's a sense for me, I've got some real casualties in my family owing to addiction. Uh, and I don't even count myself in that. Obviously I've been through a lot in terms of uh, professional loss and personal loss and so on. But uh, it's really meaningful to me. Like uh, when I help others, uh, it's it's uh, it, it's um, deeply uh, deeply personal, deeply meaningful to me. Uh, one of the things that clients tell me, and I think it's true, they go they go. We we meet with people that know a lot about addiction from the outside, but we don't meet with people that know about it from the outside, like you do, Dr. Bob, and from the inside. And what they mean by that is just knowing uh, what it's like to get addicted, what it's like to lose face with yourself and with everybody you love. Uh, how difficult recovery is, all of that. And uh, when I sit with my clients that I work with each week, they know this, and I'll sometimes say it in different ways, but I just feel like, feel like we're in the soup together, and they know I'm not kidding.